Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, my name's Alex and this is episode 5 of the series The Road to the Nürburgring. Now I don't know a lot about vintage cars but it is nice every now and then to pay respects to the original automobiles that led to the amazing machines that we all love and enjoy today. So let's take a step back in time and see what we can discover at Classic Remise in Dusseldorf. As you walk around this place you quickly figure out there's more to it than just vintage cars with modern supercars peppered throughout the display and even cult heroes like the Ferrari F40. But check out this, a 1988 Paul Stevens Spider, and that can be yours for just 265 euros. Whew. This hideous creation is Lamborghini's LM002, their first effort at building a full drive. It was released between 1986 and 1993 and was powered by the Countach's V12 engine. I've actually never seen one of these in person. They are super rare and very expensive and Classic Remis doesn't have just one, it has two. Now this is the car I can get excited about. This is a Dunkerwurt D8 GTO powered by a five cylinder Audi motor, so two and a half litres. Zero to 100, 2.7 seconds. One of the cars that really caught my attention was this 1961 Callison J5 Coupe. Now this is the prototype version and it's so gorgeous and really menacing looking and so it surprised me that I've never heard of the name Callison. What do they do? It's further confusing me because there's a Corvette badge on the back of this car. So maybe Callison build the bodies and you kind of plug it onto a Corvette or it's a kit car. I'm not sure. Leave a comment if you know. The Beetle RSI was VW's effort to beef up the car's flower power image. Only 250 units of the 3.2 litre V6 powered, all-wheel drive, 6-speed manual Superbug were built. 
A Remus exhaust and bucket Recaros were standard issue, and you could have it in any colour, as long as it was silver. So there we go guys, that is classic Remise in Dusseldorf. So as it turns out, it's not just classic and vintage cars, it's a bit of everything. Uh, we've got your exotics, sports cars, uh, we do have vintage cars and um, a whole bunch of really rare ones. The Lamborghini LM002, I haven't seen one of those before, that was quite, quite cool to see. So if you're in the area, come and check it out, it's um, well worth the trip. And it's a beautiful location, this old locomotive roundhouse is uh, very cool. Anyway, we need to head back to the hotel, grab our bags, head to the train station, and then we're on a two hour trip into the Netherlands to catch up with some friends. And we've got one more museum to come and see uh, before we close out this series, The Road to the Nürburgring. So about a three and a half kilometer walk through some beautiful bushlands from Den Haag Central Station, you'll find yourself at the Louvman Museum, which is one of the oldest private car collections around. It started in 1934, uh, it's compiled of vehicles collected from two generations of the Louvman family. In fact, there's about 250 vintage and classic cars housed inside this building. So why don't we go inside and see what we can find. Can't throw it away, can't ever delay. I'm doing it better, I'm never slowing the pace. Staying under the weather was only blowing my fate. Never going my way, had to go in my yay. Hold up, come back, show up, run that. I'm running all the time, but never done anyway. Like, hold up, come back. Show up, run that is going through the grind, but showing up anyway. The museum is set up in largely chronological order, starting from the top floor and working your way down. So you start off with all the horse-drawn carts and all that kind of stuff, and now then on to the real old vintage stuff, which I'm totally out of my league in that. And then as you walk down through the levels, they start getting newer and newer. On another way, that's just where I be. shaped cars in the past to try and get more speed or more stability and none more wacky than this one the 1951 Ital Corsa Taft 2 This 1976 Fiat 850 Shellette Spider was a complete basket case. Now that's a caravan. Looks like a boat. <laughs> This gorgeous car behind me is a 1935 Duesenberg SJ. It's powered by an eight-cylinder supercharged motor with 320 horsepower. 
But what always makes me laugh is the safety considerations. You can see that badge at the front there. I'm not sure how that would pass safety regs these days. They also have a large section dedicated to memorabilia, so photos, um, any car related items, even porcelain. But there's a definite um, focus on vintage and classic in this place. It's still very interesting and you can learn a thing or two. <laughs> there we go guys that was the Louvman Museum in The Hague in the Netherlands I hope you guys enjoyed it it certainly was a step back in time and as a car enthusiast it's quite humbling to see so many cars that you don't recognize the weird and wonderful creations that they invented in the days gone by to go faster and go bigger and all this kind of stuff anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and this brings to an end our series the road to the Nuremberg ring I hope you enjoyed it and if this is the first video you're watching, make sure you go back and check the playlist for all the others that we have enjoyed along the way. But for me, it's time to head back to the land down under. Remember, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We've got lots of stuff coming up in the future. And uh, hit that notification bell so you get notifications of all the latest videos. Uh, give this video a like as well. It really helps me out. And I do appreciate all the support that you guys have offered uh, so far. So from here, it's goodbye from me, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Well, there we go, guys. That was the Lumen Museum in, um, where are we? 